Hello, this is Gary at Jack Raven Bushcraft. Thank you for watching our video. Uh, this week I'm going to talk a little around using moss to find north. Being able to determine direction without the use of a compass is going to be a really useful skill if we were to find ourselves in a potentially in a survival situation um, or indeed where we just lost our, our compass or means of um, being able to figure out which way to go. So one of the things that we hear about regularly is that we can use moss, um, out of which side of a moss will grow on a tree. And so the theory is that moss will grow on the north side of a tree because that's the shady side. So typically the, in the northern hemisphere, the sun is going to hit the, the southern side of, um, of objects and the northern side of that object will be in the shade. So I just wanted to examine that sort of theory a little bit now. So I am stood next to a hornbeam. We could tell quite straightforward here we've got these silver streaks running down the bark um, that's a big giveaway what I want to do is just take a little look lower down the tree where there is some moss growing and, and see what we're able to um, work out from that so there is some moss growing here quite quite a nice little patch of moss growing on the on the base of this tree so the theory would tell us that this must be the uh, the north Kind of side of the tree but what i want to do is just kind of pan around here a little bit and oh, we've still got moss growing around here so if our theory holds true well that, that, this is the the north side of the tree and i'm keeping moving around keeping moving around and yet more moss growing on the tree so Let's keep going around and around and yet more moss. So it turns out with that particular tree we have moss growing all the way around the base. It could be an anomaly so let's pick another tree and have a look what's going on. So this time I am looking at an ash and yeah we could see some moss growing around the, the tree here at the base. Again, I just want to kind of pan around and take a look on the other side. So we have moss growing on this side as well. And if we continue around, again, we have moss growing on the base of the tree. So what, what's going on here then? Why, isn't, why have we got moss growing? all the way around the bases of these trees when what we would expect is to have the moss growing only on the north side of the tree. Uh, so this is because we are in the middle of the woods and so the bases of trees in the woods are pretty much all in the shade. Uh, certainly at this time of year when the leaves are, are, are now out, um, yeah, there's lots of shade going on and so the moss is likely to grow all the way around the tree. So if we want to use the, um, the, the this concept notion of using moss to help us determine which side um, north might be, which direction north might be, we need really to start looking for trees that are growing out in the open. Um, so a tree maybe that's just standing alone in the middle of a field, that kind of thing, that is likely to be a far better indicator than um, using a tree in the middle of the woods. One of the things we could do is to look a little higher up the tree so rather than, than focusing on the, the base of the tree we can start looking a little bit further up the trunk. The higher up the trunk we go then typically the more uh, sunlight that the, that, that the tree is going to be exposed to. So down at the base going to be in the, in the shadow. Further up a little bit more sunlight. So look further up and that is likely to be a better indicator. 
I would suggest, however, that you take a look at a few different trees. So rather than just kind of looking at one and, and using that to um, determine your direction, look at a few to check that they are all sort of pointing in the same direction or that the moss is all growing on the same side of them. Uh, and that's likely to be a, a much better indicator. Another option we have is to look at uh, the growth of lichen on a tree. So I'm stood next to a, a cherry here and we've got all of this sort of orange lichen growing on the tree. Um, and just through local knowledge, I, I do know that north is kind of that direction and that does tie up with the, the side of the tree that this lichen is, is growing on. So I hope you found that uh, useful, something that you can add into your bushcraft toolkit. Uh, I'll try my best to get some more content out next week. Uh, you can make sure that you don't miss out on that. You can subscribe either to our YouTube channel or to our blog, either of which are Jack Raven Bushcraft. Uh, in the meantime, take care.